world's biggest trade deal. Yes, you heard it right. 15 countries in the Asia Pacific signed the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement, or the RCEP. This is the world's largest trading bloc till date. So, what impact will this deal have on the world? And, is this really a game changer? Well, let's try to find out. The RCEP was introduced way back in 2011 during the 19th ASEAN meet. The real negotiations and talks began in November 2012. That time, China was pushing the deal to counter the US-led Trans-Pacific Partnership, or the TPP. However, in 2017 US President Donald Trump withdrew US from the TPP. Since then the RCEP has been the largest trading bloc. Along with 10 Southeast Asian countries, the members are South Korea, China, Japan, Australia, and New Zealand. All these members make up nearly one-third of the world's population, and together they account for 29% of global gross domestic product. Now the main unanswered question is. Why are these Asian countries interested in the RCEP? As most of the nations already have free trade agreements with each other. Well, despite free trade agreements, businesses with global supply chains face more tariffs. As the tariffs are applicable on products, even if some of its components are from elsewhere. For example, a product made in Vietnam that contains Australian parts, might face tariffs in the ASEAN free trade zone. Now in the RCEP, parts from any member nation would be treated equally. And this might give companies in the member countries tariff reductions. So, when you manufacture a product for the RCEP market, it is easy to do business with all the 15 member countries. Plus, you would need only one piece of paper to do business. This partnership agreement is expected to eliminate a range of tariffs on imports, within the next 10 to 20 years. Plus, it also includes provisions on intellectual property, telecommunications, financial services, and e-commerce. Also, there are predictions that, by 2030 this could increase annual income of the global economy by $190 billion. And if you notice, this is the first trade agreement which has China, Japan, and South Korea together. But along with the bright side, comes the dark side too. Unlike the TPP, RCEP does not include the agriculture sector, labor standards, and environment issues. These were the main chapters in TPP. Apart from this, some analysts believe this deal is likely to benefit China, Japan, and South Korea more than other member states. Till now it is not much clear that how much ASEAN countries would benefit from this deal. But predictions are, the benefits might only be marginal for them. As some of the ASEAN nations are poor, and RCEP could further damage the local businesses. This is one of the reasons why India withdrew from the talks in 2019, and has so far refused to come back. The Indian government is concerned about cheap Chinese goods which could easily enter the Indian market. As this would hurt India's local businesses, and manufacturing. Now quick question. Is it good or bad, India not being a part of RCEP? Write your answers in the comments below. Some experts believe, RCEP's goal is more political rather than economical. A common fear of RCEP is that China will dominate it with their economic power. And this fear became much stronger when India pulled out last year. This deal gives China an important voice in setting standards for regional trade. And in the future they might take advantage of the regions like the South China Sea, by reducing the influence of United States in the region. But the newly elected US president could change things drastically. We mean to say, the US could rejoin the TPP agreement in order to reduce China's influence. Yet it is not clear whether President Biden might do this or not. Now putting the differences aside, RCEP has a combination of separate arrangements into a single deal. And that brings Asia a step closer in becoming a coherent trading zone like the EU, or North America. So in the future, RCEP could attract more countries. So, what are your views about this video? Let us know in the comment section below. And we are glad you watched the full video. Please hit the subscribe button and give this video a like. Thank you.